Hello from Croft Production Systems. I'm Teresa Murray, the Sales and Marketing Manager, and today I'm joined by our Chief Technology Officer, Chris Smithson, and today we're going to walk through our FCS. Now, Chris, what is an FCS and why is it needed? So the FCS, or what we call our fuel gas conditioning system, is uh, the skid we have behind us. Now this is a uh, smaller system, this is kind of an all-in-one FCS for us that can do about half a million cubic feet a day. And the reason we use these is because some sites really have fuel gas that you wouldn't want to use directly in an engine. So it needs some amount of cleanup to be able to get it to where it can cleanly burn in those engines safely and also reduce emissions. So by using a unit like this, you can reduce the BTU of the gas, you can dry the gas, and really you can reduce the risk of condensate ending up in your fuel system, which can cause all sorts of problems with your engines. So the gas enters the system over here where we first go through our ambient cooling system. Now what this is gonna do, it's gonna cool down the high temperature, high pressure gas, and where we try to hopefully condense any hydrocarbons or water as we try to bring that high temperature gas down to as close to ambient as we can. There's a small separator on the bottom of the cooler that's gonna separate those condensed liquids away. After the cooler, we're gonna come over to the passive dehydration system, which is this taller vessel on the back here. Now what this is going to do, it's going to dry the gas using our proprietary EnviroDry desiccant. And that's going to absorb the water content out of the gas, dissolve to a brine where it's dumped away, and leave nice dry gas coming off of that vessel. After the dryer, we're going to go into our JT system. First we're going to enter these heat exchangers here. Then we're going to take a pressure drop where we're going to drop the temperature of the gas and the pressure where we can cold separate out the NGLs that are created from that temperature drop. The liquids will fall down where they're separated away and then the gas will continue on through the top of the separator where we have a final pressure cut where we can fine tune the pressure needed for the fuel system. After that the gas will go back through the heat exchanger and then where it finally leaves the skid. Now the reason that we use this, this entire setup here, is because we want nice clean fuel gas for the client, depressurized to a reasonable pressure to be able to use within the fuel system, but really we want to lower the BTU and reduce any chance of liquids that may be created by taking those pressure drops. Liquids can be very detrimental to engines, so we want to be able to remove that so that we can have nice clean gas safely sent over to the engines without any chance of condensation happening. Thank you, Chris, for joining us today. If you'd like to learn more about crop production systems, visit our website at cropsystems.net or give us a call at 979-793-2100.